<laughs> got lint in there and everything, man. Do I? I think it's about that time, eh? Chopping yeah, all this man. off? Let's do it. This is cool. <laughs> Since I moved to Austin, I struggled for a long time finding a good barber that I liked that, that knew what to do with my hair. And uh, once I found Bob, you know, things just started naturally happen. Looked and you know, it kept me looking really nice. And this mess uh, is because of a, a bet at work. I had a, had a milestone, and and I told people I wasn't gonna. Uh, trim my beard or cut my hair. Now it's time to, to let it go. This is the first time I've ever had long hair and I'm not a big fan, so yeah. ready to get rid of it. Welcome back. Yes. It's, it's been, a, been a while. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I've cut your hair many a times before since the beginning of my career, but this has probably been the longest Definitely pause, yeah. right? Yep. So here we are. It's been a minute. I think it's about that time, eh? Chopping yeah, all this man. off. Let's do it. I think in my head, what I'd like to do is leave you about an inch on the sides, about two and a half up top. That way it's still like a gentleman's cut. Still has a little bit of meat on the, on the, on the sides and back. And then as far as the beard, yeah, man, we'll, we'll have some fun. You know, there's guys that say, oh, I grow a beard real fast. They think they're growing a beard really quickly. And then there's guys like Jeff who are in the 1% who actually grow yeah. a beard really quickly. Fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to start off with the mullet. I thought about the mullet, yeah. You know, you have such a beautiful family that cares about you and loves you. <laughs> that's, 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 I'm too old for that. I don't think I can pull the mullet off, yeah. It'd be like the Joe Dirt mullet, not the... Yeah, not like a sexy like Brad Pitt mullet. Right. Is there a sexy Brad Pitt mullet? Mm -hmm. If you just want to know what you look like with a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the first time I had ever grown my hair long. Really? Yeah. I think the longest I had gone without a haircut before this was, you know, like three or four months type of thing. It was a kind of a bet. Yes. Yeah, with, with the... work, yeah. Oh, with work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I work in computers, right, in engineering. Yep. I changed jobs about two and a half years ago to AMD, and I've been working on a project called Frontier. It's now the world's fastest supercomputer. Made a dare a bet with them that I wasn't going to trim my beard or cut my hair until we hit an exaflop, which is it's like 10 to the 18 floating point operations per second. It's some crazy. This is where scary. Thomas has to like yeah, put yeah, up yeah. some like algorithms. Yeah, like, yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, yeah. Matrix up there. Man, yeah. you um, lost me at, at supercomputer, man. <laughs> yeah, this is a good computer, right? Like this is. Um, it's. Oh, okay, of, let's let's. Yeah. Like, uh, back uh, right, right. What's a bad computer? I was on, on kind of this journey to understand like where I was, you know, like how to take better care of myself and like what that what that meant. One of those is like, how do I grow a good beard? Stumbled across an ad, got hooked on the products um, and have been here ever since. And then when y'all opened a barbershop, it was an automatic. Yeah. I had immediate trust because I'd been buying products for years. Yeah. So I was like, well, these guys, I love these guys ethos. I love how they operate. And it's like, now we got another home. So we sticking with the usual, man? Yep, absolutely. Two, okay. two on the side. The two work. Yeah. yeah. Two on the side. Man, Chris, Chris and I, I don't like, I don't know, man. It's his attention to detail. Uh, that's that's really where, like, that's really where I fell in love with with coming back to him. Um, his attention to detail and also just relatability. Like, I feel like me and him connect on a level that a lot of other people don't, um, especially with some personal stories. Um, there you go. So, yeah, man. And I don't really know why it doesn't come in the family, but just definitely experienced a few hair loss patches. Um, oh, okay. You know, and so like I, I, I look at that's one of the reasons I do enjoy Chris because that, or like what he does and how he, how he approaches it, is that it somehow finds a way to blend that to make it look like there is no hair loss, but also still give a nice cut and clean look, so. Bro, I hear that all the time in the chair. Guys just want to jump straight to Statham, and I'm like, dude, man, we don't have to, don't have to buzz it all down, man. We still got plenty to work with. We can, we can make something work here. You know, it's definitely like, hair is an incredibly important part of the identity, and so, 
you don't really think about it until you're faced with a decision like that and you kind of think about it honestly. But the good news is that the beard looks so good that it kind of distracts people from the, <laughs> the rest of it too. So when I found you guys, when I was first starting to experiment with my beard growing out, it was starting to be itchy as hell. And I'm like, well, this is, why would I grow a beard out if it's just gonna itch all the time? <laughs> like, <laughs> and I didn't realize there was even such a thing as beard oil. And I was like, oh shit. Like, so yeah, no, probably for the past five, six years, I've been growing it out. I've had a lot of bad haircuts over the course of time and I'm pretty particular uh, about the way that my hair is and given that it's thick and that I have a lot of it, I want it cut a certain way. Uh, the thing I love about Jesse is that he specifically uses scissors predominantly and that he has a lot of skill and that he asks me lots of questions and he's, he's interested to know what I want versus like a lot of haircuts I've had, someone will just, you know, bust out the clippers and just give me whatever they think I need. And that just doesn't work for me. I'm finally getting my hair cut for the first time in like yeah. three or four months. Like, it's been a long time coming. Maybe even longer nice. than that. What do you want to do on the hair today, man? Just... Um, you know, same as normal. So kind of the classic cut, uh, uh, parted the way that I have it parted, uh -huh. yeah. but shorter on the sides, longer yeah. on the top. You, you know you know the yeah. drill. It's a gentleman's taper for, for Sam here. It comes, uh, it's got more frequently before the kid, you know? And that's how it is. What's Penny gonna do a procedure? Yeah, he had a uh, he has cochlear implants, so How's he's that? he's deaf. He's that? doing really well, man. He's um, he's hearing. He said his first word. No he's, way. Uh, yeah, That's he's, awesome, it's man. it's really really cool. You know, you hear all these bad things about technology all the time, but yeah. with him, like, man, it's it's really amazing. Maybe once or twice I've seen you with it this long, but you usually come in a before. month before, a month before it gets to this. I was traveling for for work, and I I was like, should I? I was in New York. I was in San Francisco, and I was like, should I get a cut? But I held out for you. Yeah, man. appreciate you. Yeah, man. appreciate yeah. you. So yeah, so my last book, the one that just came out a couple weeks ago, it's called Manufacturing Consensus. It's all about propaganda online. Uh, it's about specifically about the people who like make and build professional propaganda. So about the ways in which they use the internet and social media to try to control control how people think or what people think about and those kinds of things. You know, I've never been super super clean cut. Like I've always kind of had a little bit of longer hair. My wife, um, she likes to joke around with me that that my haircut that I have that Jesse's giving me right now is kind of like a gentleman's haircut. You know, it's like I like to think it adds an air of credibility to, to my uh, my persona. I like to try to keep a little bit of an edge. You know, if I Are can. Are you teaching? You teach? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's what Two classes. Professors, Indiana Jones. Two man. classes. That, yeah. That, come on. Yeah. You know, it's that hand. It's that yeah. handsome. It's that yeah. handsome professor yeah. look, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. you know. Exactly, Indy, Indy, Russell Crowe, like. This haircut is not too much different from the original stuff you were rocking. Uh, just a little longer on the sides and a little shorter on top. You don't have to chop it all off immediately as soon as you start thinning. Um, that'll be fun in the future, but while you still got some, let's, let's work with it. And when I grew my beard out, and it started getting really long, like that's, people would come up and say, nice beard, man. <laughs> Do you have any hater, beard haters? Or have you won them all over? <laughs> my mom. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like this. Like she doesn't like the wild, super long beard. Maybe everybody else thinks it, but she says it. <laughs> you see what I'm doing is I'm pushing the hair up so some of that product gets down to the roots. Got it. Rake through with our hands real quick just to get some coverage, and uh, and we'll just let it dry while uh, while we work on the beard. If you let it grow long enough, the beard will actually grow its own beard. <laughs> you got one of those yeah. beards. Got one of those beards. Got to the point where some of my friends intervened on me and said, "We're it's it's time. Like, you know, it's, it's not it's not you, man." So I'm gonna cut the top with emphasis on keeping it fuller in this area here. Podcasting is good because I get to, there's just no pressure of being live and you're not trying to, you're just having a conversation and you're just kind of vibing with them. But I'm sure you can relate to this though. It's a very different uh, challenge jumping from a nine to five to a, you kind of kill what you eat. You know, you're, you're, you eat what you kill kind of thing. Um, oh yeah, man. So it's, it's a very different mindset because I've been a nine to five for 15, 16 years. Benefits outweigh the terror, man. Every I'm time, every time you bet on yourself, man. Yep, yep. I'm gonna do a little styling with the blow dryer, man. Kind of set this thing in place before we throw some product in there. Speaking of sea salt, man. Just everyone remember to give it a good shake before you spray it in there, man. That's right. 
I also really appreciate that attention to detail. I was, I was saying earlier, like, so many places you go, you just feel like you get rushed out of the chair, you know? You, like, you sit mm. down and they're like, do a little bit, and then they're like, they're like, okay, I'm done. And you get home later and you're like, god damn it. Yeah. I should have said yeah. something. Yeah. Like, now I look crazy. Yeah. And that's the thing, uh, yeah. on that other end, I don't want people to be scared to say something, and my clients aren't. If I did miss something, let's say I want uh, something changed. You're always open to feedback. Tell, tell me in yeah. the chair, you know? Like, yeah, you gotta give feedback, man. And 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 if you're with someone who's receptive to it, that's how you get the best possible mm. product, like the best possible outcome, honestly. And like, even though it's a classic cut, like, um, and not to toot my own horn, but like, I get a lot of compliments, especially right after I've been to you. Like, yeah. Um, for my work, like I, I have to, like I go on TV or I, I have to go like do recording about like you know specific findings and stuff, and people always comment on the comment section and be like, oh that guy's hair, like I'm like yeah thanks to Jesse, like I just went to him. When a goatee is gonna come back, Bob? It depends on the kind. If you look at Cisco's when it's fresh, hey Cisco, let's see that goatee real quick. Yeah, that's. Yeah, let's see that. The full thing, not my favorite. With a little bit of separation, maybe a little bit of an anchor, a little devil situation going on, a Van Dyke, those are fantastic. Yeah. Boys, bring those back. Damn. One of the challenging things about beards, right, is when you're when you're trimming, trying to get it even on both sides. And then you start like digging into one side a little bit too much, and yeah. then it just like all of a sudden you have a goatee. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. That's all goatees are is just failed beards. <laughs> all the, all the, <laughs> that's not. I said hey. emotional damage. The story with those uh, cards up there. Are those trophies? <laughs> those are trophies. Gold ones, yeah. for that matter. Yes. Did Bob pay you to say this? <laughs> he's a very he's a very observant <laughs> client. Those trophies were earned when we took a lot of our VIP and, and most beloved beard brand clients out to K1 go-karts here in Austin and decided to you smoke them all. Them. <laughs> yeah. There's no video evidence though. Thomas, help a brother out. <laughs> of our utility oil. Making sure that it gets moisture way down to the skin. What do you think, Suskis? It looks good. I know. I think, uh, I think a girl team would be better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to go back in time about four weeks here, man. <laughs> Come on, I'll try to round this a little bit, man. Can I turn this? What you been jamming to lately? Oh, man. A lot of bad bunny. Not a bad bunny. Bad bunny. Well, I don't know what that guy's saying, but that shit, shit hits, man. <laughs> I, don't know what any of this, I don't know what any of this means. But I'm jamming to it, man. <laughs> that was actually really good. <laughs> Shit, man. How much do we owe Bad Bunny for that, man? <laughs> You're also looking for reasons why I come here that moment was it. You don't get it. You don't get that at other barbershops anymore. Yeah. Tell you that. Man, my beard's so big, I feel like it's rubbing up against the microphone. Eventually, it's gonna like get stuck in my jacket when I zip it up, man. All the guys want me to keep it. My wife's like, dude, when's that thing going away, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I wish my Eagles would have pulled it out. I still love you guys. Forever and ever. Tears. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, let's get some CGI tears going. <laughs> yeah, I would assume that there's like different trends based upon where the world's at. Like, you know, if a lot of people are fighting in a war, like everyone's gonna kind of get those kinds of haircuts or those kinds of things, right? I, and I suppose like if you think about it, like the 1960s was probably like some a backlash against those kinds of things. It wasn't like the, the long hair that the hippies had, was that not in part of rebellion to the to that 
business, I would so. business class, yeah. like getting a haircut every two weeks, man. It was a huge part of their identity, Yeah, right? the long beards, the long hair. It's like, man, we're not gonna be like you. It's your next book right there, man. A political hair oh, yeah. journal. People would actually probably read it a hell of a lot more than my other books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just point cutting uh, the whole cut just so there's texture and life in it, kind of no matter what he does with it. I'm gonna use the razor to texturize the back here and, and finish this taper out. Here's our tree ranger. I don't have any old money right now. And it smells amazing. See, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in your hair before I blow dry it. Yeah. Not a crazy amount. A tree ranger styling, uh, styling paste. It's, it's really light. It's I love the today. pininess, yeah. It's amazing, right? But I, I mean, I like the final result. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a, a ton of work to get here, yeah. right? Which is also really nice because I'm, I'm a pretty low maintenance kind of person. Yeah. So, no, it's been great. This is a lot of fun. I was really looking forward to it, and I'm glad I got to come in here and do it. It was, it was great. Par for the course. It's as always. It's what it's. It's why I keep coming back. Um, Chris is a treat to be around. He's really good at what he does. I mean, subtle, meticulous. Yeah. You know, like he's really he really cares about what he does. If you're looking for a, if you're looking for a place to call family, this is it, man. This, this is perfect. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Uh, feel I honestly genuinely feel more like myself. Yeah. Like I, I kept griping to my wife. I'm like, I gotta get my hair cut. She's like, make an appointment already. So yeah. I'm happy. Before I even came in, I got excited to come into the shop. I was like, I can't wait for that feeling after after yeah. I'm done. Yeah, and I yeah. definitely have it. So you go for that that Viking look. It's just too hard to maintain. Just a real good cleanup, so I don't look homeless.